I just got off the plane and I'm feeling good. Fuck we yeah. spent a long weekend over on the East Coast, but I'm feeling good because Leo, I positively roasted that feminist yeah. by the baggage carousel. Oh, yeah. Listen, you after a weekend of Danny using his tongue as like a whip all over the fucking United States, you don't want to be the woman that looks him in the eye and goes, hey. Put on a fucking mask. I don't know if she said it like that. You want to hear this story, Austin? Uh, yeah, let's hear this it. seems right up Austin's alley. Oh, yeah, he, he, he'd love this. At the air, I'm first of all completely over coronavirus. Nobody I know. I've heard no confirmed cases of anybody getting it and having anything other than like the sniffles. Yeah. So I'm in the LAX airport, of course, not wearing my mask as always. And then when I'm waiting for my suitcase to come around that I've had for 10 years, that my mom wrote my name and my phone number it's cute, on. It's cute, it's It's as Dan, it says Dan Mullen. It does. Danny was trying to go as Dan, by Dan for a while because he wanted to be more professional. It's but sexier anyway. too. And now that I'm a big star, I better maybe cross out my phone number in case one of the baggage like handlers that. recognizes me. <laughs> I like, stay youthful, stay youthful. I like the Danny now. Maybe this bitch good. though, she turns over looks at me. She's fat, she's dumpy, she's wearing UCLA stuff, probably a graduate student over there. She says this to me, Austin. You should wear a mask. And I ignore her first. I'm like, hmm. she says it again. You should probably wear a mask. And I say, not too creatively. No, I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm not a big pussy. Nice. There's, nice. there's no, big, like, no, big, no big victory yet. Though. A lot of people have been saying things like this. It's not a big deal. I mean, you're kind of a pussy for wearing a mask sometimes. But yeah. I agree. But the retort wasn't that smart. No. Here's where I really brought the heat. This girl, she's with her cuck boyfriend. Just a blob of a dude. Probably would have worked at Blockbuster videos if we went back in time 20 years. She looks at him and she goes, this guy's a retard. And that's when I get a fucking Danny Mullen idea. I was like, I'm going to attack this girl right now because I I wanted to get after her for something. I had nothing to latch on to, though. I'm going to attack her from the angle of liberal one-upmanship. I'm going to get really mad that she said retard. So I say, hey, my mom is a special ed teacher. And when you let the R word leave your lips, you offend every Down syndrome kid running around there who doesn't know what from what, okay? And I'm frankly disgusted by your language. Eventually, I just start yelling at her and raising my voice more and more. Austin, I could see tears welling up in her eyes. Not because she was embarrassed or mad, but because she... Feels like she was about to get her liberal card revoked for saying retard. She knew she agreed with me. I was over to the side. Uh, I didn't really witness any of this, but a hoist. Well, he comes over to me. He goes, "People over there like that girl saying retard as loud as he can." Everybody, everybody's turning around. The boyfriend looked like he's not going to engage at all, but uh, the girl looked dejected, and you know, it was it was a it, it was another win. It was the final win of the weekend. It was a big victory, Osti. Yeah. You got to cancel somebody. That's we canceled them. That's a dude. first. I counter canceled an yeah. instant counter cancel. A great, great tongue lashing to end the trip while we were waiting for our bags. I don't know if you guys are MMA fans, but when Chuck Liddell fought Quentin Rampage for the second time, Chuck threw a big overhand right. Quentin Rampage Jackson rolled down clockwise and came up with a left hook. Knocked him out. That's what happened right there. Yeah. That's what that's happened what at was. Baggage Carousel One. That's what happened. So don't fucking tell anybody to wear a mask. All right, guys, relax. Unless you're fucking over 80 and you've been smoking for a long time, then, you know, maybe you should feel uncomfortable by going outside right now with this COVID-19 shit. Otherwise, relax. We got to get back to normal, guys. We got to roll the dice. Don't we roll the dice every day? Don't we roll the dice every time we cross a street, for God's sake, especially in Los Angeles? I'm rolling the dice in every, every, in every aspect of my life. I roll the dice every other time I have sex. There we go. Well, yeah, exactly. Because you, no, you're coming inside of a girl with this without birth control, or I was gonna say I do anal, and there's always the risk of shit. No, but then I would, cock. the angle could also mind. be that like I get hookers or something. You can right. might be an STD thing. I, I thought it was an STD thing, but the shit on your cock doesn't even bother you though because you're you don't care about that. My theory is that's one of the reasons men are attracted to anal sex though, is it's like scratching off a lotto scratcher. You never know what you're gonna get. It could be the total jackpot, which is an internal climax. Mm. You pull out clean as a whistle, no babies, no nothing. You go shower up, go about your day. It's like a you know, it's like a box of chocolates, except you you might actually get some chocolate. That's all I get. That's all I have. I get it. It's nice. It's not that bad. It's like yeah. uh, it's a box of chocolates yeah. that. Well, it'd be strange to buy a box of chocolates if you didn't want any chocolate, mm. which is like what fucking the girl in the ass is. Yeah. So what do you think after? 